Hi guys, welcome back. This is an update video to one of my previous video I have made a long back, uh, which is called as a how to install Twerp on any Android device. Now I generally make always an update video because you know so many things happens. The device got a lot of different software versions, some different files version have been upgraded. So so many things happened in the past. So that's why it's always good to make an update video. Now so there are some important points that you guys should understand that we are going to discuss all. Uh, this thing is going to wipe your data completely if you're doing it the first time because you know you need to execute certain set of commands that are going to you know uh, wipe your data completely so make sure to take complete backup and uh, you know try to preferably use any you know hardware backup that is copy inside your portable hard drive or something cloud data are not recommended uh, it is not guaranteed that all devices uh, are supporting Twerp. So check the official website of the Twerp that is Twerp.me or you can install the official Twerp application from the Google Play Store. Just type your phone model number. First you have to check whether your device supports Twerp or not. So if they are showing there, you guys can download the official Twerp version. And you need to first check and look whether your device can be bootloader unlocked or not because this is very important. So there are some devices, for example, Xperia devices, there are a few Xperia devices which don't allow you to unlock the bootloader. So you have to first check your manufacturer like the which company device you're running, whether it supports the bootloader unlocking or not. And for each device, there are different set of commands or key combinations to go inside the bootloader that you have to check with the manufacturer. Now there is only one way to install Torb is the using computer if you're doing the first time. So it is highly recommended you should set up a computer. So there may be other versions like the Mac version also, Windows version also. I'm going to tell you about the Windows version, how to configure that. And it needs certain set of files which is called as ADB and the Fastboot. To set up ADB and the Fastboot, there are two ways. First, you can either install the minimal ADB, which is a GIF file, a package file. You can just download and extract it and it gives you basic set of files. Now, I won't recommend this thing. This thing will work many the times. Sometimes, for example, if you are doing for the Google Nexus or Pixel phones, they need a special Google uh, driver. So it is always recommended in case you have good internet connection and a lot of storage available on your computer. You should install the Android SDK. It is that once you install the Twerp, this thing is going to replace your stock recovery. So first make sure to download the stock recovery for your phone itself because you know sometimes it happens if the Twerp is somehow not supported or maybe corrupted. So if you have a stock recovery, you can just uh, stall it back or just flash it so that you can device will boot properly. And another important point you have to understand that after you've installed Twerp and if you rooted your device, obviously you're going to root that, then you're going to install Twerp. So uh, this thing will stop your automatic software update. That means your device will get software update, but there are likely chances that you won't be able to install it the OTA. You have to completely download the complete ROM and it will replace your Twerp file again. So you have to use the same method again using the computer method, you know, just to connect your phone to the cable and you have to install that thing. So these are guys here you know, the basic instruction minimum requirement and need that you have to follow to install the truck now let's get inside the computer and see how exactly you can do that now guys my setup is completely ready i'm going to show you guys demo using oneplus 5 because this is just latest device i had it and pretty much most of the people are going to looking for that so let's get started now the first step is to configure your phone that means uh, you have to look out for this some specific section so make sure to find out some uh, area where you can find the software information for example uh, about phone or maybe some information so i'm just taking here reference so you have to go inside this about phone so there's entry call as a bill number you have to tap it six to seven times so until you see this options you are now a developer once you see that uh, you can see there's a new entry call there will be option so get inside make sure this is turned on and you have to enable a few things here first thing you have to check out and see something related to oem information it will ask your pino pattern the current you have set just enable that and give the enable permission after that you have to look for some other sections for example if you have the advanced reboot this is optional because it depends on device to device if you have it it is good and after that you have to check out the section usb debugging make sure it is turned on now keep your cable and connect this cable to the phone and both the computer you should be getting some uh, debug prompt so this is my computer setup i have installed the android sdk on this directory see android sdk built on tools you have to type your adb devices so you're going to see some prompt after that and this is the first time you have to authenticate device you can see allow usb debugging you have to make sure to turn ok otherwise it won't recognize the device once you see this is done properly then we have to go back to the computer again and if you type here again so adb devices uh, it's going to show you some number as you can see previously it was unauthorized now it is showing as device so that means your computer setup is perfectly working and connection is okay 
Now you have to go inside this bootloader. So you can either use ADB reboot bootloader or you can use your hardware keys commission if it supports. I'm gonna use this computer from prompt here. So command is ADB reboot bootloader and your device will reboot to the bootloader screen. Your screen may vary depend on manufacturer to manufacturer, so, but it, it will be something like that to start. Now you have to check here, here fast boot devices. ADB only works when your phone is turned on. After that, here is a fast boot command. So you should be seeing something number and the fast boot status written. Now you have to just uh, select here first command this fast boot OM unlock. So that is going to uh, you know unlock your device and completely wipe your data. So this is going to prompt warning here unlock bootloader. You have two options. You have to use your volume keys to navigate up and down. So you have to just make sure yes and just you have to click the power button. It will select this thing option. So this is how you have to do that. I'm just going to select OK. So once it is select OK, your device will again reboot and it will show you some prompt, you know, like uh, it's going to wipe your complete data and you have to wait for that. After that, you will get as a fresh device and it's like similar to the first time you have got a device. So just set up your device completely, then we'll go and do the same settings again. Now you have to go again back to the setting and you have to perform the same step like go to the about phone section, enable the developer option by clicking 6 to 7 times on this about phone section on the build number then you will say entry then you have to make sure to turn on the USB to begin again and you will notice here this OEM unlocking is grayed out that means it has been already enabled and if it's the advanced reboot option you can do that otherwise you can use uh, you know ADB commands to go to the recovery so again you have to then it will ask for prompt connection again you have to give that permission again allow USB to begin click ok now you have to reboot your device back to the bootloader. I'm gonna use my computer to do this thing here, rebooting again to the bootloader. You just have to type your ADB devices, make sure it is connected properly. Now it is done. Now you have to reboot to the bootloader. Use the same command and use the one way. It is using command forms pretty much easy. It works for most other devices. Command is ADB reboot bootloader. So you'll see the same uh, bootloader prompt again. Now here you have to uh, flash the turf file. So make sure you have copied the turf file inside the same directory where your platform tool that means where you have copied ADB and the fastboot. Now type your fastboot devices, make sure fastboot connection is working on. Then you have to execute the command for flashing the turf that is fastboot flash recovery. Then copy the exact recovery file name and just copy the exact thing that means do not skip to start IMG or do not append it twice. So once you hit enter. You should see uh, everything should be okay if it is written as okay. Now uh, you have to use the hardware commission keys and go inside this reboot or recovery. First time you're going to go that and it's going to ask you know the default pattern or password whatever we have set. Now you can see we have successfully installed the verb. Now we have installed the turf successfully it's time to verify it. So I have just selected my magis.g file and already have installed magis manager after later on we will verify and see whether the turf has installing uh, you know all the zip files correctly or not so whenever you inside a turf when you flash any zip file make sure to clear swipe this delve and cache it is always recommended then reboot the system normally so once you're back here so i'm going to launch this magis manager as you can see so i'm going to verify whether everything is uh, doing perfectly or not as you can see it should pretty much show you show me cts profile this match pass so guys you can see turf is looking great and magis has taken the zip file that we have flashed through turf so guys that's been it for this how to install drop on any android device now in case you want to uninstall drop in case you already have rooted so i already have made a couple of videos i'll put those link in the description just follow the instructions on the video and it's pretty easy to uninstall the drop in case you need an update video let me know down in the comment i will make an update video so thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is Arab. i'll talk to you very soon peace